The majority of large companies in each sector provide graduate training schemes. Training can last up to four years depending upon the sector. You receive tremendous support at the start of your career, relevant on-the-job training, mentor services and the chance to study for further professional qualifications funded by your employer. You will also understand the working of the entire organisation as you will move around all the different departments throughout your training. Competition for these schemes is always high. There can be over 20 applicants for each place and you will need to have attained at least a 2-1 in your degree, whatever the discipline. Once you've completed the scheme, you will have proved yourself to your employer and have a fast track to the senior positions in the company. Well, if a graduate uh, at the age of about 21 joins us, uh, we would love to see them staying with the company and developing from trainee trader to full-blown tra trader. The training programme is, in theory, two years. Uh, some people take a little longer to get through that programme to becoming a junior trader, others do it in less time. Uh, but, but our aim is certainly to grow our own people and that's a real passion and commitment of the company. We want to uh, see people develop into really terrific traders, um, getting to um, you know, a senior level themselves and, and some of the people we have here who've gone through our scheme um, have done tremendously well, very successful traders and then get to the point of being involved in the management of the company themselves and really contributing to the whole corporate atmosphere. The incentives to earn are there as it is recorded that graduates earn an average 25% more than those who did not attend university and are less likely to be unemployed. To make myself stand out I'd probably have to bang the door harder than everybody else. Um, you have to show that you're ambitious and drive. It's not, it wouldn't really boil down to the degree, because we'll all have the same degree. It'll boil down to how much you want it, um, what experiences you've got from your university life and what you can offer the company. So that's what I'll try to show them. Each year there are many regional graduate recruitment fairs. Students who attend are able to network face to face with prospective employers, have their applications and CVs checked and attend seminars and workshops. So I attended a careers fair at the end of the last academic year. Um, it was a government policy based careers fair. Um, working in the public sector, Transport for London, NHS, um, and it was just set up as a mini exhibition, if you like, with, with stands um, and a, a chance to talk to people on the stand, I guess, about, about the careers and pick up information and leaflets. Even if you're a school leaver and not a graduate, you're still a valid candidate. Drive, ambition and determination will get you a long way in reaching the career that you want. In a communications role, you really need to be a very good communicator. I know that sounds obvious, but it's probably one of the most important aspects. If you're coming across well in an interview, if you're, you, know, you, come, you come across well to people generally in, in everyday life, you stand a good chance of being a good uh, communications uh, manager. I hope that gives you an idea not only about the sectors, but also the people who work in them and what you need to do to get noticed by recruiters. Good luck. Thank you.